Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you ever so much for joining me. So it's another day and a sunny one at that and uh, another collaboration. So these are things that I've been doing for a little while now and thoroughly enjoying them. I get to meet new astrophotographers from around the world, uh, really interesting people. I always learn something from them, so it's a really good experience. Add to that that every time I uh, take a target uh, in part of a collaboration, I come away with the best version of that target I've ever taken. Um, there's very little argument uh, to not do these. They're, they're great fun. A little bit of work, but great fun. So, the target we're going to be going for in this collaboration is M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. Another target I have photographed before, but never really um, achieved uh, anything close to what I've been after. So, fingers crossed, this one's going to work out. So I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for your support. It's very much appreciated and I hope you enjoy the following video. My name is Glenn and you're watching Astro Bloke. For this project I'm going to be using my RC8 scope, it will have a 0.75 reducer inside so it will be a 1200mm focal length and f6. I've got the ASI 294mm Pro and I'll be shooting through just two filters for this project, the HA and the O3. The filters have got a chroma filters at 3 nanometers, so they're brilliant at uh, separating the uh, bandwidth that we want and also cutting out the light pollution. From experience, the O3 in the center of the Dumbbell Nebula can be quite intense. So I'm going to go for five minute subs on the O3 and push the HA to 10 minute subs. So everything that's gonna allow me to do that is my trusty EQ6R Pro, which it's all sitting on. And this mount has been brilliant, I must admit, I do love it. I do plan to do a hypertune. I've uh, recently got an HEQ5 which I did a hypertune to and that has made such a difference to that mount. This is guiding at 0.4 total RMS most of the time, so I can't really complain, but a lot of that has come from me tweaking PHD2 and then doing PEC training as well and getting that into the mount. If you are interested in doing anything like that, please check out some of my earlier videos as they explain how to do PEC training and I've even got a full strip down of the HEQ5 and the Hypertune I did, and this will be very similar to that. Right, that's the list of my equipment for this project. Now we're gonna shoot over to Colorado in the USA and speak to Joe Navarra, and he's gonna tell you about what gear he's using. Hi Pat and Glenn, I'm very excited to be working on this project with both of you. Tonight and maybe for the next couple nights, I'm going to be using the Edge HD8 with the focal reducer on it so that I'm going to be around 1422 millimeter focal length. I've got the ASI 294mm Pro as my main imaging camera and the ASI 174mm Mini as my guiding camera and I'm using the Celestron OAG guider. I've got, also got the ZWO electronic autofocuser focusing this beast and it's all sitting on the EQ6R Pro mount. Good luck guys. Thanks Joe, that's great. And uh, I do love that uh, HD Edge you have there. Such a lovely scope. Look forward to seeing your data. Right, let's go and see what Pat's using. Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop in the Heavenly Backyard Garden in Savannah, Georgia. And first of all, I need to pause and say thank you to Glenn and Joe for including me into their project. It's an honor to serve with you two guys. Anyway, 
The telescope that I use to shoot at the target, M27, or commonly known as the Dumbbell Nebula, uh, is the Orion Eon Triplet. It's a 130 millimeter refractor telescope with a focal length of, um, what is it, 910 millimeters, 910 millimeters. I did use a filter. It was the Altair quad band filter uh, for narrow band for uh, one shot color cameras. And the camera that I used was the ZWO ASI 071 uh, one shot color camera. Now, I am very excited to, uh, to be part of this project and can't wait to see the final product. Thanks so much, Pat. That's brilliant. I love the uh, the gear you've got there, and I'll be uh, really excited to see the data that you capture on this target. Your garden's looking fab too. Right then, so that's a list of all the equipment we're going to be using. So, we need to get this show on the road. Well, I've checked my weather for the uh, upcoming nights, and it looks like we're going to have some clear skies. But uh, I think I'll check in with Pat because he's the expert on this and see what he has to say. Good afternoon, everyone. Finally, a full sunny day across the area. Interesting view on the satellite imagery this afternoon with, with our clear skies around here. You notice way down here, uh, a puff of whiteness. That's smoke from the Okefenokee Swamp Fire that continues to burn out there in southern portions of Ware County. The Okefenokee Swamp Fire. I never thought a swamp could catch fire. Let's have a look. Well, Pat, thanks ever so much for the heads up. That's excellent, but uh, I think I'm lucky enough I'm far away that it's not going to affect me. And now I know how you got your flawless presenting skills. Fantastic job, Pat. Can you hear me? Yeah, Good. how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Got a thunderstorm in progress, Some, nothing new. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's better than the hurricane, right? Well, I suppose. Or what was a tropical storm, wasn't it? it yeah, it was a tropical storm up. I got here. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Glad you're safe. Did any of the trees come down for you, Pat? No. Oh. <laughs> you should have been that's out there. Too bad. Getting them ready for the wind. <laughs> yeah. Throw them out. <laughs> So, Pat, I gave Glenn all of my masters. I gave him your masters that you sent me. And he, he took his masters and he put them all together. And I believe this is it, right? Let's see. And it came out really crazy. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> it came yeah. out really crazy. So we got our work oh. cut out for us. We really have our that work all cut the videos? out for us. That is oh, all. Yeah, so that's all the RGB, that is... HA, and O3. And one shot color. <laughs> I mean, it's there's a, lot. there's a lot there. I mean, look at it all, like compiled up into. So I guess we're gonna have to crop quite a bit, but. Pick it up. Yes, it. This is this is where we'll see what it really is gonna look like because you can't do it with that auto stretch. It it works, but it's not as good as the. That's Holy better. Nerves. That's better. Ah, sorry. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I'm walking in. Okay. Those are the steps. My scent is getting a bit bright, isn't it? So, yeah. Pull it back. Yeah, pull it back a bit. Let me do this one more time. What we most be do with it, Joe, is we'll. What we could do is mask that center out a bit so it doesn't get so blown out. I can, so we can bring so we can bring that outer that outer detail to show through, but not blow out the center because the center is just blowing out, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's my fault because I was doing some ten minute subs on it. Oh. I did the same. It wasn't until I stacked it I thought, God, that O3 really really burns. Have a look at a before and after. If you click that circle at the top of the preview, 
Not the red one, that one. Yeah. You can have a look at before and after. Well, it's bringing out the detail you wanted. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Are you not happy with it? Does it? How does it look at on the screen? I, I like to it. You? I like that red. Yeah, I like it. I think it's, it's good. What's it look like with the stars on it, Joe? Put the stars back on it. Oh, okay. Well, I have to apply it. Mm. Oh yeah. Stars. Yeah. We can always we can always roll it back if we don't like it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I like it. Oh wow. Okay, I well, like I it think with the that, stars. I think that looks impressive. That does look impressive. It does. You know I... what it looks like to me? It looks like the Earth just blew up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I, I think, like, something, I I think like something blew up there, Pat. I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the Earth, the blue marble. Yeah. <laughs> We had about two hour Zoom meeting where we all worked on the uh, target and we finally came up with our uh, final image which uh, we were all really pleased with. Um, as always, uh, I do a collaboration and come away with the best version of the image I've ever taken so I'm really, really pleased. Pat Prokop, it was really a pleasure to meet you sir. Please check out Pat's uh, YouTube channel, I'll put a link above me, Heavenly Backyard. Um, he's got some uh, great content, uh, really nice equipment and targets and uh, yeah, some good videos to see too. So please check him out. Um, as I say, it was uh, great working with Pat and as always, Joe, uh, who's become a really good friend now. Uh, what a bonus in astrophotography world. Not only do I get to work with uh, somebody of the same mindset as myself but I've made a good friend too which is uh, which is lovely and I really enjoy uh, working with him and uh, we chat most days. Joe has another channel so uh, please check that out I'll put a link above me for Joe's channel if you haven't already checked it out. So we've uh, come to the end of our project and all that's left for me to do is to thank you all for joining me and I hope you enjoy the final image. Until next time, please take care and I wish you all clear skies.